Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play Blah Blah Blah. Why am I saying that? Hey guys, uh, this is Cuba Dragon here, and I'm going to be bringing you a Let's Play of the demo of... Um, what is it again? Oh yes, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. I don't know why I took so much time to say that. But anyways, uh, this is partially a test of some new recording equipment I have. It's... Also a test of the new microphone I have that'll make it easier for me to hear stuff. And, um, well, I'm just going to be testing a lot of stuff with this because I really need to... Well, the recording equipment I had earlier, as you probably knew, was pretty shit. And, um, we're, okay, captions are on. Everything is as high as it can be. But so, uh, as you probably noticed with my Persona 4 Let's Plays, uh, gameplay of games like, uh, well, basically the H because it was an HD game, the graphics were kind of hard to see make out, and the <coughs> the uh, text was completely unreadable. So uh, this is partially a test of my new HD recording equipment that'll hopefully uh, alleviate those symptoms. But this is also going to be a let's play of the demo of the Revengeance demo that I got with when I picked up the Zoe collection. So, uh, basically, yeah, we're going to be playing this kick-ass shit. Ah, crap, missed. And, uh, I'm going to just be going through the whole thing, and I'll be talking over the text because I'm also going to be putting up a, uh, a non-commentary version, just like I did with the Sly 4 demo. Um, but so basically, like I keep saying, this is a test of my HD stuff, and it's also me just having fun with Metal, Metal Gear Rising, because this is actually a pretty kick-ass game, or demo. Uh, right away, you can see that sword, sword play is pretty good. Uh, Raiden can run, he can jump, he can slash. It's uh, it's being done by a well-respected... Uh, wait, I want... Ooh, did not mean to do that, but okay. It's being done by a development company that's well-respected in the action gaming genre, uh, Platinum Games, if you didn't know. They are the guys that did Bayonetta and Mad World and Vanquished, which I... I haven't actually played myself, but I have played the other two games. So I'm, sh and I heard that Vanquished was short, but you know, I also heard that it was at least a fun game to play. So, uh, but again, that's what I've heard. I haven't actually played it myself, and we're just going through <coughs> cutting up watermelons because we can. And let's use our foot slash. Uh, there are two types of basic uh, fighting in this game. You have your quick attacks, which uh, done by square button. I guess that's the X button for the Xbox 360. I have no idea. And then y the basically the button that corresponds to the square button. And then th you have your strong attacks, where Raiden actually takes his sword and his foot and starts slashing like crazy with it. And uh, you can combo into these things. You can go from triangle to so uh, sword to triangle again. And uh, you got a lot of crazy combos with this. So this is actually... Ah, uh, man, I missed. Gotcha! Stupid watermelon. Take that. But so this is actually a pretty crazy game. And uh, BAM! Cuts you in half. So... Um, this is... It's, again, it's a pretty, pretty, it's, uh, from the demo, I have to say this is going to be a very fun action game. I'm, I've played the demo several times already, and I'm really looking forward to the final version. And, <coughs> I hope it'll, uh, be just as good, if not better, than the demo. I'm, there are some staples from the Metal Gear Solid, uh, stuff that aren't really in this game. Like, so far I haven't seen cutscenes where you can press and hold a button. Uh, to get a different perspective, but then again, I haven't really looked for them either. Uh, there's sneaking, there is sneaking in this game, but it's not emphasized like it is in other Metal Gear Solid games. Uh, the mechanics of this game are basically, you're supposed to pretty much kill everything if you can, uh, so obviously there's not going to be a 
a uh, counter that says how many people you killed, or there might be, but it's not going to count negatively against you if you kill people, because the whole point of this game is to kill people, as you've seen. Um, it's actually... Uh, ba -ba 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 I've lost my train of thought. So... Um... Okay, I was talking about killing people, the mechanics. Uh, there's a bunch of other mechanics in this game that... Uh, well, basically you saw me doing some of it earlier. I could cut up pretty much everything in that demo. And in the game, or in the tutorial, I should say. And in the game, you can practically cut up everything as well. Um, and there's some funny... Uh, the cutscenes are pretty much Metal Gear Solid type cutscenes, by which I mean they're long, uh, they explain a lot of stuff, and they take forever to get through. So I may end up not even talking over all of this because I won't actually be able to talk over it because I will run out of stuff to talk talk about before the cutscene ends. They're that, they're, you know, that length. But, so the environments are almost entirely destructible. There are a couple of things you can't actually cut down, like walls and... Uh, entire buildings, which, you know, makes sense. There needs to be some limit, after all. But there is a lot of stuff you can cut. You can cut down trees. You can cu There's actually uh, something I'll show soon where you can cut down an entire set of stairs. That That's pretty fun to do. I'll show that when I can, you know, after this cutscene finishes. And, um... Yeah, the game is pretty fun. So, how long have I been recording? Only... S only seven minutes. Okay, that's fine. I'm hoping that this new recording equipment will be able to record for a lot longer time than my other stuff did because uh, that was pretty bad. Uh, what happened in my other stuff was, well, um, uh, how do I put this? Um, okay, so I could only record for about... Depending on the format I recorded in, I could only record for so long before an issue occurred on my recording equipment, and I would lose all my footage, and it would, sh and like, like I would get a file that would be about as big as I would expect all the footage I acquired to be, but I would only have about a second or so of actual footage, and that was just ridiculous, totally ridiculous. So I'm hoping this new recording equipment can record for a lot longer. Uh, I'm hoping it won't pull that kind of crap that the other one did, and uh, so I, I'm go I'm hoping that I can take at least long enough to see if I th that kind of stuff doesn't happen. I mean, I guess if I really wanted to test it, I'd have to record for like a day or something, but that's not going to happen, and it wouldn't happen normally, so I'm not going to take that long to test it out, but I am going to be playing through this as much as I can, getting everything, showing you everything you can do in the demo, or everything I've been able to do in the demo. There is one thing that I'll mention that is really hard to reproduce. Actually, two things. For me, anyways. Might be easier for you if you play. But, so... Uh, so just... J uh, enjoy the game. Or, this... Yeah, enjoy the Let's Play of this demo, because uh, this is looking like a really good game, and I'm really glad that it is, because... Well, <laughs> now I'm going to get it for sure. For surezies. I mean, I've already gotten Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, 3, 4. I've gotten Peace Walker. I skipped over Portable Ops, but from what I heard, it wasn't that great of a Metal Gear Solid game anyways. Uh, you know, comparatively. But this does look like it's going to be a fun game, so come on. And we got slow... <laughs> He's moving slow motion against the water as it's still falling in the air. He's moving normal speed and all the water's moving slowly. That's... Is he already moving fast or something? Oh well. And he has a barcode on his forehead. That's just weird. But he does look badass. And as you'll notice that he's not in his uh, white uh, cyborg suit anymore. This is a black cyborg suit. Uh, from what I've heard, the story reason for that is... Uh, is that he lost it to that Sam guy they showed in the cutscene. Uh, or rather, he lost to that Sam guy as White Raiden, and they decided he needed to become more badass to uh, stop him. Which, <laughs> hey, I'm all for more badass Raiden. I mean, this game is pretty much meant to be uh, you playing as the... Uh, uh, well, if you played Metal Gear Solid 4, you saw the... Uh, Badass Raiden in um, 
that the that was kicking the gecko's asses was taking on the frogs with no hands was uh, saving your ass from a giant tanker with only one hand. Uh, we're playing as that Raiden. We're, no, we're playing as an improved version of that Raiden. That's how badass this Raiden is. And as you can see, I can take out pretty much anything in the environment. There, like I said, there are some things you can't take out. Walls and uh, certain obstacles that are supposed to be destructible, but uh, they're not in this demo. I'm hoping that changes for the final version, because like, uh, if you press up on the thing, then you get this little display that shows stuff that can be cut. Obviously, I can't cut that rock, but I can cut uh, those buildings that you saw me cutting, or that walkway that I was cutting. And as I said, here are the stairs you can cut. I don't need no stinking stairs. I'm going to get rid of these stairs because I don't bloody need them. I am a cyborg fucking ninja with badass sword cutting prowess. Oh, and I look aw and I look awesome too. But I don't need no fucking stairs. I'm just going to run up the wall. You'll see me run up the wall really fucking easy. I don't need these goddamn stairs. Not one bit. And there go all the stairs. How are we going to get up there, you might ask? Well, I'll show you. Remember how I was, how I was running in the tutorial all Cyber Ninja Fasty? Uh, well, there's, a, there's more than uses for that than just getting around quickly. For instance, I can run up this wall and run up it again because I'm just that big a badass. Uh, interesting little thing there. If When you're doing the scan thing, uh, which you do by hitting up on the D-pad, by the way, uh, his visor actually falls into his face, and when you undo it, it falls away from his face. So that's, that's a little neat little thing they did there. Um, and we walk forward a little bit, and we're going to get into a fight. Oh, look, it's uh, some guy who can go invisible, and he's got a face mask like me. Not at all. These guys. So what if these guys can go invisible? Uh, what you see there in the combat manual that's... Ow, you jackass. Ah, uh, okay. Screwed that up. Uh, pick that up. That'll give me... Ow. Oh, come on. Die, die, die. You... Okay, what you want to do is aim for those little uh, red spots, and if you you saw there earlier, I failed, but uh, if you hit the circle button while you're in blade mode, and you get you, after you cut through those things, you get a, a little nanotech thing that increases your uh, health all the way to maximum, and it also refills your blade gauge, or I think that's like, I forget what that thing is called, I think it's, uh, da, ba, da. Okay, the slow mo mode where you can cut things with precision. That's what I'm. That's what I'm going to call it because I forget the, the shorter full, the shorter real name that they're or shorter code name that they're using in the game. But uh, so yeah, that's basically. I screwed up. Uh, you'll see it later though. I'm not that so bad that I can't do it. Like I said, I played this a couple times before, and I will uh, kill someone with that, and I'll show what it does with Raiden, how it heals him all the way, how it refills his blade gauge, and uh, we're just going through another Metal Gear Solid cutscene because they're long ass motherfuckers. And okay, my uh, computer is not doing too bad, so this is this is going well. I'm I'm really hoping this turns out well because. So far, it's doing pretty good. Um, <coughs> I'm hoping this will work. Uh, this recording stuff will work with my Wii U as well because I just got my Wii U, guys. That's that's pretty awesome. Well, just got it as of recording this. I don't know how long it'll take for me to actually put this up, but uh, yeah, I have a new Wii U. So awesome sauce. So we have badass awesome riding, and we have badass black Wii U. So ah. Uh, and Raiden's being a dark emo motherfucking bitch. Um, he's he's actually changed a bit from Metal Gear Solid 4. I mean, yeah, he was kind of emo there and kind of brooding. Uh, what's my purpose and all that stuff? But now he's just like depressing. Well, I mean, you'll you'll see more of his depressing nature. He he's still got some funny quips, but for the most part, he's just kind of depressing. And the enemies, for some reason, exploded. You know, just randomly exploded after I killed them. No explanation, just boom. And uh, as you saw, this says it can be cut, but 
I'm not cutting it. I think that's because I'm really hoping that that's just a problem with the demo and that later it will be fixed in the full game. We'll be able to cut it. Uh, it's not even there. It's like, it's just nothing. It's just a big block. I really hope they fix that because I really want to cut down that telephone pole, telephone wire pole thing. I want to cut things. Can I cut this thing at least? Yes, I can. Good. Okay. Okay, that makes me feel a little better. I can cut that light post. Uh, so now we've got to go in here. Uh, we can just run in here and we get a call from Boris. And uh, you'll know. Yeah, that, there was slow down here. You'll notice that his uh, what he's saying isn't quite in sync with his lips. Another thing I'm hoping is just part of the demo. Um, I'm hoping they'll fix that up in the retail release. I mean, they've got a couple months to do that. I really hope that it gets fixed. Uh, but until then, we can just... I mean, it's, it's not a big deal. Even if that does end up in the final game, it'll, it'll just be a little disappointing, but it won't be anything major. So, you know, we'll, that, that's okay. Um, so... Okay, after we're done talking to him, we can run up here. Uh, these crates are... The green crates are not destructible, but these black ones are, and the wooden crates down below were destructible as well, and I fell down. Uh, you can't engage this when you're running, by the way, but it does help you find things like that, which is a nano repair paste. I think that's like a health upgrade thing. Uh, it also tell Again, it tells you what can be uh, attacked, and it gives and it identifies objectives, but like I said, you can't use it when you're running, which is a little disappointing. But uh, I guess it kind of makes the game fair, sort of. I, I mean, I guess I don't really see why it has to, be, why you can't do it while you're running. I mean, I would understand if it was while you're attacking, but and it is, but while you're running, wh why can't I put this on while I'm running? I mean, I think it would make it more sense to put it on while you're running because it's a, I mean, you've got a freaking visor in front of your face. Who runs? without a visor in front of their face. I mean, it's so much more useful to run with, with the thing. Uh, but I'm, uh, I'm trying to put logic in video games. Not a good idea. But so, uh, chandelier is breakable, and I'm just gonna break it for funsies. Because, you know, it's fun to break chandeliers. Who, who hasn't dreamed of breaking a chandelier at least once? Just jumping on it and just making it topple. Well, now you can live that dream in Metal Gear Rising. Uh, but so anyway, let's move on here, and ooh, enemy! And I had to swallow there. Why would I bother flanking them when I can just get up here and... See that? Now we have a little stealth action going on! Die, bitch! And now we can cut him in pieces! Take his nanotech stuff, crush it, we get full health, full blade power, and he ends up deader than dead. Um. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Main thoroughfare. Got it. And there's a crate over here. Uh, I don't think there's a crate over there, so don't bother looking. And if you look down there, there's a civilian who's in trouble. Yeah, it's not. This is one of the things that I have a hard time doing. It's uh, There's a civilian down there, and you can save him, but I have not been able to. Uh, well, I have, but only once. And it's really hard. Uh, or at least... At least I've had a hard time of it. But I seem to have saved him this time. There's one more guy I need to take care of. This guy up here. Oh, wow. That was... Wow, that went very well. I have not been able to kill that guy without him noticing me before, and as you see, he has a rocket launcher on him. There's another. There's something about the rocket launcher that I have not been able to replicate, and that is if you kill him, if you attack him, when, and he's noticed me, but that's okay, because we can cut him to pieces! Uh, stealth is not a big part of the... I don't think stealth is as big a deal in this game as it is in uh, previous Metal Gear Solid games, but it is useful if you want to kill someone if you want to kill a bunch of people with ease yeah and we can tell this guy he's okay because we managed to save him that's this is the second time i've managed to save him in like six playthroughs of this demo which is uh no kills 
I guess that means no civilian kills because I sure as fuck killed a lot of people. Uh, but so, anyways, uh, about back to the rocket launcher guy. There is something you can do about him if you can manage to blast his. If you can, uh, you can actually parry his rocket launcher. I haven't explained parrying, have I? Uh, basically, if you use the attack, the light attack button, and hit the thing in the movement, the left stick in a direction while you're being attacked, Raiden will do a little parry stance, and it'll deflect a lot of enemy attacks and whatnot. Have you? It'll also deflect rocket lo rockets fired from your enemies, which is very useful. And this is in a battle that you cannot escape from. You have to fight the gecko, and you have to fight the two douches that are back there. And you get badass music to fight to! And that was a parry that I just did. Ow, you fucking gecko. Die! Ah, die, die, die. Okay, you are dead. Oh crap, and I'm stunned. Okay, you're dead. You are so dead. I will take that from you and use it to fill up my health all the way to max. Bam, bam, bam. You are dead, Gecko. And your foot thing did not work. Come out. Who fired that? Oh, yeah, there are two more guys. That and cutting you to pieces because I can. Because I don't like you. And that was fun as all holy hell. And I seem to have cut off one of his legs as well. Uh, that's something you can do. If you can cut off their legs, you will uh, cripple them, and they'll be a lot easier to kill like that. And there's some repair paste. And combat rank B. Not bad, not bad. I've done better before, but, I mean, for what it's worth. And uh, right there it says you can change your sub-weapon by hitting the... Uh, it's, it looks like it says up and down, but it's actually right and left. You have to use the right and left button to do that, to enter this menu, and then you use up and down to select the items in your recovery, sub, custom, and main. Can you actually, like, get an, a different main weapon? Is that is that indicating that there are more blades you can use later? Oh well, doesn't matter. Uh, to use your sub weapons, you uh, hold the L2 button, and then uh, I think you use the R2 button after you've aimed them properly. There's a rocket launcher up here that I can use to demonstrate that. Rocket launchers are sub-weapons, yes. You do not get them as your main weapon. Uh, because your main weapon is always going to be the blade. This game is meant to focus on uh, close quarters combat, which the developer himself has stated multiple times. And so I'm going to kill this guy before... and hopefully get him out of my, w out of my way before his buddy notices and kill his buddy as well. And I've been spotted! Okay, this is... Ah, damn gecko. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the non-gecko guys because they annoy the crap out of me. And because I can't really deflect their rocket launchers that well. And there's a gecko on my ass. Running, 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 running. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And bam! And cut you! And take your, take your health for my own. And now i got to go get this buddy who's on the other side. Um, I'll use a rocket launcher on the geckos just to show off how it's done. Uh, let me... Oh, great. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Come on. Where is he? Where is he? He's down there. Okay. You're dead. You're dead. And take your health for my own. Bam! Okay, now I just have the de geckos to deal with. And fortunately, the game pauses when you go into your submenu to equip stuff. So now I've got my rocket launcher and... Bam! Right in your face. So, th as you can, and that's how you use your sub weapons. Ow! You parried too soon, Raiden. Oh crap, that's not good. Shake, 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 and he does this, which is pretty badass. And it puts the gecko on the ground, which lets you. Ooh, the other gecko. Ow, jackass. Okay, I'm gonna take care of this one. Gotcha! And I'll take your health for my own. Bam! And now I just have this... This one gecko to deal with. And I'm going to try... Try to get a... A special... Uh, stun animation on this guy. If you can get a... 
Come on, stun, stun animation. Come on, stun animation, please. Oh no, he's just dead. Damn it! Uh, they have a special stun animation where if you get them in it uh, and hit the circle button, they will enter. A, there will be a special cutscene kill where you can uh, easily get health from them. I wanted to show it off, but that one didn't want to give it to me. Um, okay, there's one more gecko in this demo that I may be able to get that off of. Uh, if not, well, then we're out of luck because this is just a demo. And when the full game comes out, I will definitely be let's playing it. You'll definitely see it then. Uh, because I am definitely getting this game. It is awesome. If you haven't already noticed, this is a very fun game. I'm gushing over it. I love it. I don't care that I'm gushing. Uh, and really, this this game is just all around fun. I mean, how can you not like like this kind of a game? Well, I mean, I guess if you don't like blood and guts and gore. Uh, or if you like easy games. Because this is not going to be an easy game. The only reason I'm making it look easy is because i played it several times. Um... And it's also on normal mode, if you didn't notice from the beginning. Hard mode is locked out. I have not been able to unlock it. I don't think you can unlock it in the demo. That's fine. But uh, cutscene here, because there's going to be... This is the boss of the demo. The uh, You know, because there has to be a boss in the demo to get a feel for how they work and stuff. And it's actually pretty fun. This is a really fun boss. I love it so very much. And talk about a close shave. I'll bet he wishes he... Had hair on his chin, so it could so it could have been gone from that. Ah, oh, and the ch chainsaw, if you didn't notice, was going every which way. That's uh, you'll see why in about a minute. So Ryden lands on his feet because he's a cat, and cut the box and slow motion because there's a bad guy behind it with a chainsaw. And claws because it's a wolf with a chainsaw on its tail. A cyborg wolf with a chainsaw on its tail. That is bloody fucking awesome. And that is a long ass name that I am never going to use. I think later he gets he gets uh, named Fenrir because you know a character this badass. I mean, just check him out. He's too badass to just be a one time character. I mean, also he talks, and uh, you know he. He's also an AI, so it makes sense that he'd be programmable and blah, 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 blah. Uh, reusable, but he's still pretty damn awesome. He has the chainsaw and he throws freaking hot, hot knives at you. But of course, Raiden's so badass, he catches a, one of them with his foot. This game is just all around badass. <laughs> I love Cyborg Ninjas, I love this game, and I love the way... The, this is shaping out to be a fun-ass game. Aw, oh, too bad for you, because it means you're going to die. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Who wants their memory wiped? It's no wonder he's fi fighting Raiden if he has to be fight... If he has to... No, it's no wonder he's fighting Raiden if, he, if the alternative is having a wiped memory. I wouldn't want my memory wiped. And this is one of the most badass motherfucking songs for a boss ever. I mean... Uh, you might want to check this out on the non-commentary version because this is a bad fucking ass song and I'm talking over it and I wish I wasn't, but I'm... Oh! Ow! Per Pari! Pari's attacks and BAM! Combo! Combo! Ow! And I got hit by the knives. And you are... Whoa! Come on! Die! 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 I'm, t I'm talking over the mu- the beta some music which is so unfortunate because it really is good uh what i recommend watching my non again i recommend watching my non-commentary version to uh uh listen to the music yourself because it's just too good to pass up so um uh anyway something i want to talk about before the uh before the demo ends because this is the last bit of the demo if you'll notice all the enemies have red blood and uh uh, they're blah, 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 blah. Okay, okay, so re enemies have red blood, but in the Japanese version of this thing, everybody has uh, white blood, including Raiden. But in this, in the American version, which is the version I'm playing, everyone has red blood. I think it's a bit of censorship or something. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, ow, come on, get back here. Uh, got his knife, blocked his knives that time, and watch out for that. Uh, so. So it's, come on. 
Uh, one thing, I, one problem I do have with this boss is that he's very cowardly. He doesn't. He uh, when I try to get close, uh, it's really. Oh crap! Not this! Not this! Ah crap! And he got me. This is one of his special attacks. It's a grab command, I guess you could call it. And as you can see, if he gets you with it, it's on. It's unstoppable. And here he goes again. I'm just gonna. Whoa! Ah, damn it! He got me again. Ow! You jackass! So, yeah, Raiden has red blood, but if you remember from Metal Gear Solid 4... Uh, quit doing this! Damn it! I'm gonna die here because I can't parry this thing and I can't fucking ev evade it. Damn it, I'm doing so bad. Come on, I gotta... I've gotta kill him. I've gotta get the gecko onto the field and kill it. Uh, because he summons a gek because you saw him summon the other guys earlier. Okay, thank you. Now he's summoning the gecko. Okay, but so you remember... So, if you remember from Metal Gear Solid 4, Raiden had white blood. In this game, he does not, as you probably noticed when that guy got to me in his chainsaw attack like three times. Ow, what the crap? I parried, you jackass! Okay, so... There we go. Okay, so this is the cutscene kill for the gecko, and I'm going to do it. And you can get more cuts in if you want. I don't want to. I just want to kill the gecko, get the health back. And the music is getting even better here. Again, check out the non-commentary version. Ah. Damn it! I keep getting caught by that. Ah. Ow. So, uh... So everything has red blood, but even though Ra even Raiden, even though he had white blood in Metal Gear Solid 4, I find that very odd. But I mean, I guess there's ah damn, I missed. Where do you go? Where do you go? There he is. And got him there. What is this? Okay. Got it. Okay, finally I evaded that. It well parried, but you get the idea. And now he's on top of the tank. This is new. Well, him being on the tank anyways. This is the final kill for him. And I get to cut him up like nobody's business. And this is awesome. And now he's in pieces. But so... Uh, that's the end of the demo. Ooh, combat rank A. Not bad. Not bad. But so... Um, I... As you probably noticed, I... um was kept getting sidetracked on the blood thing. Anyways, in the Japanese version everything has white blood, in this in the American version everything has red blood. I wish it had been all the enemies have blood and Raiden has white blood and like certain cyborgs like uh like this prototype thing had white blood. But uh oh well. It's you know, it, it would have been nice, a nice nod with Raiden having white blood, but oh well. Uh available February 20 2013. That's, like I said, that's the end of the demo. Very fun demo. I enjoyed it so very much. I can't wait for the full game pla full game to come out. Platinum Games is do doing an excellent job. I hope that the things I noticed in the demo, like the things I couldn't cut that I should have been able to cut, I hope that gets resolved. I hope the desync with the Boris's uh, mouth at that point gets fixed, but uh, that was... A terrific demo. I really hope the recording I'm doing gets it gets it um, you know accurate and all that. But so that's all I have to say for now. Um, so I guess that'll be the end. Bye guys. Have a good day.